Well, welcome back to the show, everybody. We're down here in the Prairie Tractor lineup, Albany Pioneer Days, Albany, Minnesota, 2022. There's quite a lot of them. They extend all the way down to there. But I'm going to show you all this big Avery. I mean, that radiator top tank is huge. It is, see across the top, we have Avery Company, Peoria, and I. We've got wheels that are, well, I'm 6'2", and I'm still looking up at the top of them. This is a 4080. Built from 1913 to 1920. Weighs 22,000 pounds and set you back around $2,800 back in its day. So that was quite the investment for the time. This has the automotive style radiator. I wish I could show you guys how big that is. <laughs> Lots of steel and iron. We got the old riveted frame. Big drum style fan back here behind the radiator. And it's a great big engine. It looks like it's a giant opposed twin cylinder. One cylinder back there facing the rear, one facing the front. We have the heavy flywheel here flat belt drive up to the fans. This has the chain drum steering, standard for the day. Lots of side to side slack in it. You do a lot of cranking on it. Round cleats on the drum or on the wheels. Just the size of that drive pinion and bowl gear, drive gear inside here. I bet that drive gear is close to six feet diameter in itself. Lots of iron. One thing I was noticing too, you look at the cab, the roof here has almost the same barrel stave like slats that go across as the roof on that uh, D2 cab that I picked up this summer. And just the way they do the cross bracing, the way they go and they round all the edges, just the styling, the back finish back here, it looks so much the same. I have to believe, or I'm starting to think anyway, that they sourced a lot of these canopies and cabs maybe from the same manufacturer because they all have the exact same construction. Um, they even have the same look about them. That's something that's pretty interesting. And yeah, here's the steering wheel. You crank on this a lot of times to get any kind of, there, we're just now finally getting some slack. So that's one, two, three, and we're finally, <laughs> we're finally tensioning the other way. There's a lot of steering you do on these things. And I think one of these is throttle, one of these is probably spark advance. Uh, this is your reverser lever. This should be basically your clutch, your drive engagement. And then this one actually slides the whole engine forward or back. So it meshes the small drive gear with that larger bull gear. So to put it in neutral, you just slide the whole engine forward, you unmesh everything. But 44 gallon fuel tank and visibility is not the best. This is about what you see, but it's still way cool to be up on top of one of these, so. And looking further down below, you've got an interesting snap coupler hitch where it actually like pivots in, grabs onto whatever it is that you're towing. So that would make it a little more convenient. You don't have to worry about it coming unhooked when you back up. And pretty much the only operator comforts you get, spring-loaded rear platform to stand on. So aside from that, no seat, right? Of course, if you sat down, you wouldn't be able to see much. You just stand there and crank on the wheel, pull on the levers make it all go so for its day it was probably really something so that concludes the static walk around we'll fire this up later on today maybe even take it through the parade sounds like it'll be fun